Hello everyone, my name is Cetus and welcome back to Imperator Rome as Thrace, trying to reunite Alexander's empire with the new 2.0 update. And in the last episode, we had the really good fortune of uh, the Antiquitan Kingdom kind of collapsing in on itself and we inherited a great deal of their territory, which is very quite lovely. We got everything over here in the south. And I'm curious, those became, okay, they still have the subjects. What over here? These seem independent now. So it's probably, oh, those, that's ours now. Yeah, they kind of fractured pretty badly, which is interesting and not a bad thing for us per se. Uh, though it does put us at odds with Egypt, which is concerning at the least. But hey, we have a bunch of levies now, which is really, really nice. Uh, and we have our legion here, which is also doing uh, quite nice. And I am tempted to expand it a little bit. Add engineering cohorts. I, huh? I hadn't even seen that these were were new now. What, what does an engineering cohort do? Are you going to tell me without buying it? No? Interesting. Interesting. I think for now what we're going to do is add... Does it tell us how much... It costs to maintain number of uh, number of light. Oh, so we have two of everything right now. I thought it was one of everything because it says a thousand. Except for wait, are they all are they sets of five hundred now instead of sets of a thousand like they used to be? Well, let's find out. Let's uh. What do we want more of? Grab. Yeah, it costs 500 manpower, so it's gotta be 500. Plus maintenance of 0 0.3. 0 0.4. Oh. Okay, 15 for an archer. 15 for a light infantry. I wonder if the types matter as much anymore. I'm going to do it by that, I think. Cost a thousand manpower, up our army by a bit. Yeah, so it's 500 now. Interesting. Yeah, that's still cool, though. That's still good. Apparently, they're building farming settlements for us in some of our new land, which, by the way, I hadn't noticed these lovely new menus telling you what things are building. Uh, our court philosopher has requested an audience to read from his new history on the life and deeds of Alexander the Great. As Alexander's former bodyguard, uh, Lucian was present for most major mo moments in Alexander's life and is looking forward to this immensely. It starts out well, but the as the tale goes on, he starts noticing more and more events he has no recollection of. He begins to suspect that our court philosopher is fabricating events, because surely his memory cannot be getting that bad. Finally, uh, he does, begins to regale the court with a story of the time that Alexander had an audience with the Queen of the Amazons, an event uh, would certainly remember. <laughs> oh, can we gain sarcastic? 10 popularity? That guy loses loyalty. Interesting. What did sarcastic give us? Diplomatic reputation minus 3. Good, good. Uh, wait, we won. The highlight of this year's game was during the standard, the most ancient and revered of foot races. In the last place for the majority of the race stole the victory bare moments. Overall, the victor was declared to be of Thrace. Lovely. Everyone likes us better. We gain stability. Interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're lacking a governor. 
Uh, so what are we looking for? We're looking for someone skilled, young, or with high statesmanship. Statesmanship of 41%. Family's doing okay. If we grab this one, though, we would get a grateful family. I hold a total number of three jobs. We'll be content. Since this family holds twice as many jobs as is expected, they don't. They hold five. I don't know why you're saying that, but... Okay, well then we don't need to get them one. I don't think the math checks out with that, but hey. This person's actually pretty good. They have pretty decent statesmanship and pretty high skill. And so I think that's... Uh... Oh, wait, there's two skills in here now. So because they could be running the army, is that what's going on here? Is that why that skill is up here? They have amazing finesse, which is why I was looking at them, but why is the martial skill up here now? Because that far is not good. But, you know, this person's an 11 and has a martial of 8, and that might be worthwhile. We'll take you. You're a little older. I still think you're going to be good. Missing another? Wow. We gained a lot of land. We'll give it to her. That's fine. I assume. We look at our military. Find our military tab. It must be if we give the continent access to it, right? I'm curious, though, how we can change our laws so we can have more armies. That, I think, would be wise. Uh, government, laws, military? We'll be able to raise a legion in the capital region. Mercenary contract will not be able to raise any legions. Mercenaries are cheaper. Fascinating. I didn't notice these had changed. Uh, military service. Not able to raise any legions. No legions. So we need royal army. Interesting. Which we can't do until we're a great power. Legions become cheaper. Oh, this, okay, this is cool. These are our succession laws, which we may eventually want to make with. Maritime law. Improve commerce. Non-interference or anti-piracy. Okay, that seems pretty familiar. Infrastructure. Okay. Religious conversion policy. Ooh, these are neat. So we can take better assimilation speed or better religious conversion. We don't have the invention for this though. Prescribed canon. I'm kind of curious where that is. Relaxed citizen status. Lost citizens. Premium ratio. Authoritarian research. Legitimacy. Okay, there's some neat things down here. King of Kings. Royal Humility. High legitimacy monarchs can nominate an heir. Kings we may be, yet a grounding in reality avoids us comparison in the hubris of the legends of old. Royal Humility. Interesting. I'm kind of tempted to look into that. Divine status at some point would be fun. We're no, oh, a long way away from that. But I want to know how we get to here. Because this would help us without conversion. We both have to convert religion and culture quite a bit in our empire. So prescribes can. If we go to technology. Actually, if we do this. I want lock. Does it tell us where... Oh, I'm in the wrong one. It does. Lovely. Uh, needs one of... Okay, so it's... So we go to technology now. Right, I completely forgot its name. Prescribed Canon. Where's our technology? I don't know what any of these buttons look like anymore. And it's gotta be the religious one. Uh, something Canon. Prescribed Canon? Prescribed Canon, right there. So we will want to push down this route. We turn on planning. So we'll take accepted rights. 
due process, accepted rights, open religion. Like that. And then we'll get there. What is Grand Temples? I think that would be a good one to push towards. Long term. Okay, what do we want to do? I'm kind of tempted to clean up some of this so we regain connective tissue, like more, more ways that aren't affected. Need to clean up this. Got to deal with them. Be nice if we had some allies. But I think we have too many diplomatic relations, right? Because we have so many subjects. We really should integrate. That might be first priority. But I started befriending people, but maybe I forgot about that. Improve relations with you. And improve relations with you. We'll do those two. We'll integrate them and then we'll try and find two allies. So let's unpause because we're close to whatever January, which is when we can go after this. October. Very tempted to be try and befriend Egypt. Or rather outside our diplomatic range. Can't can't befriend you at all. Some of you would befriend me. That would be interesting. Is that more likely to get me into wars or make me stronger? Like, hang on, let's take a look at the ledger. Let's try and do... I wish there was a search feature on this. But I don't know a better way to find... Um, I don't know a better way to find... Military strength anymore. Oh, I flipped it around. So, oop, I just saw Egypt. I just scrolled past it. Egypt. They have 34 cohorts. Ugly. An insane number of people. What about, like, Capridon? These people here. Down on the A. Way down here. None. I don't know if any of those are going to be helpful allies. Egypt just scares me. It will be an aggressive defensive war. Ooh, military tradition. But what can we grab? Looks like we can only grab out of these two. Have to have embraced things we don't have. Roman traditions, interesting. Greek kingdom traditions. I, I, I want this just because this is a lot of what I think of Greek armies, when I think of Greek armies. Uh, but let's take a look at this. Kingdom traditions. Cohort starting experience, experience decay, heavy infantry, heavy infantry, office simulation, military colonies, siege ability, recruit speed, so a bunch of navy stuff. The final one is mercenaries, light cavalry, heavy cavalry, light infantry, heavy cavalry, Light infantry and unlocks the Persian tradition. Interesting. What does that get us? These are way more complicated. I kind of love it. There's way more to do here. Also, how are we most of the way through the empire? And I don't feel like we've done <laughs> tons this episode. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay. Um, hill combat bonus, army attrition, siege, heavy infantry, heavy def infantry, heavy infantry, ship. Army mercenaries cheaper. Assimilation speed. War elephants. Unlocks the Indian tradition. Light infantry, light cavalry. Jeez, it just keeps going. Ships. Fences. Elephants. Okay, okay. Let's not go too deep. What is the, the pull on one gets us? Freeman appear, morale of armies, I already like this. Recruit mercenary cost, cheaper, useful. Heavy infantry offense. 
light infantry morale, archers better, heavy infantry maintenance, mountain and hills, better forts, better cavalry, better cavalry, better boats. What is the senders down? Latvian. Lots of boats. Greek warfare, so discipline. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down this one. Because there's a lot. I like the heavy infantry bonus. I really like the archer bonus. I really like we begin with a morale bonus. I think that's a really good one to start with. Really good one. Okay. November, December, then we get into January. Uh, Antiquity and setbacks have seen many of their most prominent servants defect to our cause, and in the vein, the Atridan dynasty has advised at our court. They have law strong local connections in Asia and offer to transfer their loyalties to us in exchange for a position befitting their usefulness. He becomes governor, and we get a family. Things are fine. I think we'll embrace them. Um, little quote, yeah. I don't know why that just appeared. But we are we are prepping to integrate. That's good. Okay, wait. So I think we. Yeah, we can attack. <laughs> we have a lot of little allies. They have one ally. Okay, we'll just take your land too. That's fine. That's fine. Let's see if we can wrap this up before the end of this episode. Even if this episode has to be a little bit long. Uh, the Mercedian dynasty, which until recently lorded over only the Mercedian city of Kos, has now risen to rule over the kingdom of Pontus, the northern. No, that's fine. Slow things down. We might not need to slow down that much. What does it. Does it still cost a lot of money? You know what I like about the way the new standing armies has is activating them doesn't cost more money, so you know what your money is. Or well, being at war is less expensive. I mean, if I raised my levies, it probably would become more expensive, but we don't need my levies. Our cohorts are going to do a great job. Great job. Probably increase speed. I don't know that this is going to be the most thrilling war we've ever had. We're going to take this, and then we're going to march over and take this, and then we'll be done. And the trick is just not to lose men by starvation. <laughs> Which, you know, hopefully we can do. There's people wandering around. I'm hoping our allies will clean that up. Which they are. Bureaucratic issues. We have issues keeping track of our studies as well as taking care of our people at large. With our bureaucracy stretched thin, our subjects are becoming even more unruly. Stands will have to care for one of the groups as we are unable to control both of them. So, integrated cultural happiness, minus 5. Loyalty of subjects, minus 15. Gold will surely fix the issue. Hmm. Why is it only two of our subjects? Okay, we'll accept that. But why... Why am I... Because these are someone we can integrate, right? Yeah. I don't know why it keeps only telling me of the two. I clearly have more than two vassals. If someone wants to go and take that fort of the other people while we're, we're chilling, that would be fantastic. 
an interesting choke point here. Uh, excellent land management. We received happy news from the province, uh, leaving them to their work will no doubt serve well. So, gain loyalty, loyalty gains excellent land management, monthly food goes up. Then scribes to record the new standards lose 16 gold and Thrace gains a bonus everywhere. Or distribute them far and wide, they lose loyalty. I think we'll spend some money to gain the bonus everywhere. Seems like a good use of money. Uh, receiving the advisors to serve at our court as a gift to show his obedience to Thrace, as is customary for some tippies, uh, though it will give some influence on our court. Letter of appreciation. No, we'll Letter of appreciation. That's fine. Excellent. They are sieging that for us, so we won't have to spend our manpower on that. What do you want? Military access. Sure. Our vassals are just going to clean up anything. I think we're more powerful than I realized because of the vassals. And it's just hard to tell what that is. Each one. Honestly, I'm not going to move my army. They're, they're dealing with the rest of the siege. We'll just kind of chill. In fact, we're going to come back to our own territory. Just chill out. Relax, you know. Enjoy the war. We gotta go deal with them. I think that'll be next. That'll be next episode. Like, the very first thing we do, probably. So I guess we were waiting for our king to die. But he's... He's basically immortal, from what I can tell. Because I'm pretty sure the average age... Oh, tribute influx. There have recently been a large influx of craters. Uh, we will only accept the merchants in the city, Thrace gains gold and tax bonus, or let them settle down, gain citizens. Yeah, we'll take that for sure, because we need more citizens. And what I was going to say is I'm pretty sure government, government, leader, 71. I'm pretty sure the average age of people was much lower than 71. Not that I'm, you know, upset by this, but I'm just, I'm pretty sure. If you could take the last capital region, that would be swell. And then we're done. Uh, civil wars are breaking out. That's nice. As long as they're not breaking out where we are. Could you take that? Thank you. And we're just going to take, take, take. Okay, we got the elite. So it's the standard question of do we take popularity and a lot of cultural happiness hit lose some aggressive expansion imprison them lose popularity or patent we'll take the aggressive expansion drop and the aggressive expansion drop we have some disloyal characters which we'll want to look at but i think that's a nice place to end this episode we definitely want to build a fort here i think we'll want to save up for that and probably one up here, because these are two choke points into our empire from Macedon, and they are going to come for us at some point. I don't know when, but they 100% are going to come for us at some point. But for now, I think that's a great place to call this. So thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.